Good morning, Kingdom Kids. It's Pastor Leslie. We have made it another week. I'm so glad to see you all. I want to say that I love you as always, and I'm praying for you all. You all, we are still studying and learning um, about the Beatitudes, right? And so we're in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, which says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Now, who has any idea what a peacemaker is? A peacemaker, in my own words, is someone who is willing to make things right. They make things right, right? They are the people who will go um, the extra mile. They are the people who will apologize first. They are the people who will... Um, not spread gossip or not talk about others. Um, if a fight or someone was bullying another person, they are the people that will go and break that fight up or stop the bullying from happen from happening. They are the people um, that will protest, right? Um, I have on a shirt, Black Lives Matter, right? I have on this shirt, um, as you all know, our pastor preached an amazing sermon last week on the importance of saying Black Lives Matter. And um, why is that a peacemaker? Well, a peacemaker knows when something has been broken, when something is not right. And so um, the treatment in our country between blacks and whites, between um, police and blacks, has been for years, as our pastor explained, wrong. It's not just, it's not right in the eyes of God. And so as peacemakers, we say, no, this isn't right. So we're going to protest. We're going to um, become politicians. We're going to um, do things that will help make the system right. Now, you all, I saw some of you all at the protest um, back in June when our church marched and I saw you with your, your parents and your grandparents. And I wanna just encourage you that as children and as uh, preteens, you all have a voice and your voice matters. And I saw so many of you all out there and that just really blessed me and encouraged me to see you as a peacemaker, right? You are saying that what's happening in our country is not right and that black people's lives matter. So I just want to say that that is a part of being a peacemaker. You all, peacemakers, they don't avoid um, feeling uncomfortable or feeling awkward or feeling um, weird about something. Because they want something to be made right so bad, they don't mind that. You all, uh, Jesus says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Now, you all, um, especially at Salem, this happens all the time to me. Um, I can be somewhere and someone can say, um, little Denise. <laughs> now, Denise is my mother's name. And they say, you look just like Denise. You look just like Denise. Um, because we look like each other. People say we look like twins. I don't know about all of that. But uh, people say that we look like twins, right? And so uh, people say that because of our uh, facial features, right? But when Jesus says, bless our the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. When we are peacemakers, when we are saying, no, this should be made right, when we're um, marching and protesting, when we're saying, no, God's plan was not that racism and hatred should happen, we are peacemakers. And, and I, I imagine that God is like, that's my child. That's my baby. You know, when you do something, you make your family proud. They're like, that's my baby. I imagine God is like that to us when we um, are fighting for what is right. Um, and I just know that God is pleased when we say, no, we're not going to allow this to happen. And so um, blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of God. Well, I can say that that um, example of me and my mother, because God is a God of peace. You know, the Bible says that God is the Prince of Peace. Jesus became peace so that we can have a relationship with God. You all, this is why I'm always saying, do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ? Are you a follower of Jesus Christ? Because before we accept Jesus into our hearts, we are enemies of God. 
Yes, we are enemies of God. And so we need Jesus to be our peace so that we can come to God. Jesus made everything right on the cross. When he died on the cross and rose again, he established peace for us so that we can be in relationship with Jesus. Praise God, right? And so even as children, you have the opportunity to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You can say, Jesus, I, I accept you into my heart today. I know that you died for me. I know that you rose from the grave. I know you're coming back again and I want you to be in my heart and I want you to live inside of me today and do you know that Jesus will live in you that moment do you know that you don't have to wait you don't have to pay for anything <laughs> that he wants to be your friend he wants to come and live inside of you and so Jesus because our our Lord and Savior is peace because he's the Prince of Peace of course we will be like him of course, we would be like him and model that peace to others. And so I want to bring it even closer to home because I know I talked about what's going on in our country, Black Lives Matter. But I even want to bring it inside your home with your family. Some of you all are mad at your cousin or your little brother or your sister or your parents or your grandparents. Do you know that you can be a peacemaker even in your house? God is inviting you to be a peacemaker, right? That might mean you might have to um, say, I'm going to ask my mother or my father, hey, can we talk about this? I'm really angry about this. Or you really hurt my feelings about this. Peacemakers, they don't avoid conflict. Peacemakers are not the people who uh, pretend and, and, are, and are quiet and are trying to Make sure nothing happens. No, that's not what a peacemaker <laughs> does. Peacemakers, sometimes we have to have arguments. Sometimes we have to say hard things so that we can actually have real peace when things are made right. Um, some of you all, I, I remember when we were meeting in person, you would always say, um, you know, about things on the Internet. And as a peacemaker, you have the opportunity to not share something that is gossip, that is uh, bad, uh, talking bad about your sister or brother. Do you know you can be a peacemaker in that way where you can say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, uh, because when we talk about peace, we talk about peace um, at the level of our country when things are made right peace with Jesus Christ, but also peace in relationships and our family relationships. God wants us to have peace in those relationships. And so I just want to encourage all of you all that um, you may need to ask God um, to show you how can you be a peacemaker. Ask God. Ask, ask him, how can I be a peacemaker? I want to be a peacemaker because that's who you are, God. So Kingdom Kids, I love you so much. Um, I want you all to have an amazing week this coming week. And don't forget that small groups are happening today, starting at 2. And if you have RSVP, you've already got the information. But have an amazing week. Love you all. Bye-bye.